Hi, I'm Douglas Joyce, the founder and owner of the Joyce Vein and Aesthetic Institute. We are a state-of-the-art venous treatment center located in Punta Gorda, Florida. The procedures that we have developed at JVAI for venous disease are office-based procedures. What I mean by that is that it is not necessary for patients to be hospitalized, have general anesthesia, narcotics, or any type of sedation. They are able to come into our office, be totally awake, have a procedure done, and then leave immediately and go out and have lunch with no problem whatsoever, no limitations whatsoever, and very little pain during the procedure and very little discomfort after the procedure. When you have back pressure in the venous system due to the valves not functioning correctly, the pressure in the veins will begin to rise, and this is known as venous hypertension. What venous hypertension means is just like hypertension, which is arterial, which is high blood pressure, high blood pressure in the veins causes the veins to go through the transformations that cause venous disease. In other words, they swell, enlarge, begin to leak fluid, and eventually that hypertension is so high and that pressure in the veins is so high that the blood cannot flow forward the way that it should. And when that happens, then the blood stops flowing forward in an area, then the tissue in that area is compromised. It cannot be uh, oxygenated, it cannot receive nutrition, and it cannot get rid of its wastes. And that leads to changes that are known as venous stasis changes. In other words, you start seeing major changes in the skin in that area. Discoloration will occur, thickening will occur, and eventually ulceration will occur, which is the most serious type of venous disease. Most of the techniques that we use at JVAI were developed at JVAI. We were pioneers in the original laser venous surgery. Back in the year 2000, 2001, when laser ablation of varicose veins was an experimental procedure, we were one of the few centers that had a laser system and were using that on patients to try to determine what the proper use was to achieve excellent results with laser ablation. After the first few laser ablations, it became apparent that this would replace venous stripping. There was no comparison in patient comfort or in um, post-op pain to the two procedures. But it was a matter of years to develop the perfect technique to do it. And we have you know, we've, we've developed the perfect technique for venous laser ablation. We perform it every day. We perform sometimes 50 cases in a week. And patients do excellently. They're in and out of the operating room within 15 to 20 minutes. They have an excellent surgical result. And uh, we're generally extremely happy with our present way of doing this, which has evolved over the past 14 years. I had a guy that had had an ulcer in his life for 15 years and he was a very affluent man and he had he lived in North Carolina. He had been to every center that you could imagine. He had been to the Mayo Clinic, he had been to John Hopkins, he had been everywhere. He had micro vascular arterial work done on his leg, micro skin grafts done on his leg, all kinds of things and nothing worked. And he read about us uh, on the web and drove down and came in for a consultation and we got him in surgery in the next week or two. He stayed and we worked on his leg and his ulcer healed. Took about two months, completely gone. And he came down from North Carolina and he had a, uh, a bandage on his leg or a, a sock on his leg. And he looked at me and he says, I have to tell you something. And I thought, oh my God, it didn't heal up. And he pulled it off and he says, it took 15 years and this thing is healed. How come you were able to do this and no one else could? And my comment was because they didn't look in the right place. They're not paying attention to what's wrong. To make an appointment, you're welcome to call our toll-free number, which is 866-998-1312, or visit the Venus section of our website, www.jvai.com.